need to make a will so that your assets are distributed as you would want them to be distributed, as opposed to having the law impose a distribution upon your assets. There's a common misconception that if you die without a will, all of your assets pass to the government. This is not the case unless you die without any relatives, which would be very rare. Some people ask, why should I make a will? Because I read in the newspapers that the courts interfere and change per a person's will upon the challenge of somebody else. But the courts only do that if there's good reason for doing so. Normally you should be able to make a will and provided it's reasonable, your will will stand up. It's important to remember that your will may not address all of your succession planning needs. Superannuation is a key issue that may not be governed by your will. The distribution of superannuation on your death often needs to be separately addressed as part of your succession plan. And with more and more money tied up in superannuation, this issue is a significant one. That's right, and a similar issue arises in relation to discretionary trusts where the assets aren't owned by you, but are owned by the trust, and therefore you can't give them in your will. But you may need to put provisions in your will about the future control of the trust, who's to be the appointor or the trustee and the like. Sometimes the most challenging wills to make are those for couples where one or both parties have children from previous relationships. There are a number of options for people in this situation to consider. The will making process can be complicated, but at Howard Andrews we can help you sort it out.